In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at the basics of using presets to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect. I have here in my track number one a video of a flag flying in the wind. And that's kind of nice. So what I'd like to do though is I'd like to put another image and superimpose it over not the whole screen, but part of it. That's called picture in picture. I could use a still image or I could use a video. In this case, we'll experiment with a video. So I'm going to go to my project assets box and take this picture of a parade. I'll drag it down on a higher numbered track. And then we'll close our project assets box. So what I have when I take my current time indicator is I have the flag flying and I play it and all of a sudden the second image takes over the whole screen. Well, I only want it to be on part of the screen. How do I change that? That's called picture in picture effect. And so I go to my action bar on the right side and my effect is the abbreviation FX and click there. And then as I drag through all my options, I have a section here that's called PIPS. It stands for Picture in Picture. And it comes in two sizes. By default, 25% PIPS. And down farther, I would find 40% PIPS. That refers to the size of the image and how it's been reduced to go on the screen. And then in each of these, I have 23 variations of how it can come on the screen. I can control the motion and I can control the location. And it's broken down into the quadrants. Lower right is LR. I drag down further. Here's UL for upper left. At the end of this exercise, we're going to show you a variation of each of these so you can see how they work differently. Here's one, for example, that's upper right. So in order to modify this clip so that it only occupies a quarter or less of the screen, I'm going to take this upper right. This is, happens to be a static picture. There's no motion. There is two other ones. We'll show you that later. And I, I'll take that effect and I'll drag it and drop it right on the video track of my second clip. And now you notice immediately what happened. It's 25% normal size, and it's in the upper right quadrant. That's what the preset has done for me. I'll go ahead and close my applied effects here. So now when I want to play this, I can control the start time by where I position my clip anywhere I want to. And we'll play it, and now it will pop up on the screen at 25% normal size in the upper right. How long do I want it there? Well, I also control that by controlling the duration by simply dragging and shortening the clip or lengthening the clip up to its maximum size. So this controls uh, the length of time, but it doesn't control the location. That's controlled by my preset and my pip. Now what if I want to change that? Well, we can, and we'll work on that more in the next lesson. But let me give you a quick preview is all I need to do is highlight that that modified clip, go to my action panel and to my effects in the editor and click on motion. And in the motion area, I see the position. I see the scale. This is my 25 percent and I can change it by changing these numbers or I can now with this panel open, I can physically move it with the mouse. That's the center there. I can physically move it with the mouse anywhere I want. I can also resize it. We'll look at that in more detail. But right now, what I'd like to show you is all the variations of one of the options you have for the, the default PIP controls you can drop on a clip when you're using a picture-in-picture. -picture. What I'm doing is taking one of the options, the 25%, in the lower left quadrant of the screen. And then we're going to show you all the variations. Here's the static preset. Here's a full screen down to 25% motion. Here's a 0 to 25% expansion. Next is the opposite, 25% down to nothing. 
now 25% up to full screen. The next one is sliding up from the bottom. The next one we see is sliding in from the left. Another preset you're given is to slide in from the right. And you might expect the next one that would slide down from the top. Another preset is slide to the bottom from whatever quadrant it starts in or slide to the left off the screen on the left side. Then slide from that quadrant to the right off the screen and then slide up to the top and off from the top of the screen. We have a spin to 0 to 25 percent. We have a spin in from the bottom. The next preset that we have is a spin in from the left. It rotates twice, spin in from the right. You, you have to override it to change that. Spin in from the top, again two rotations to that location. Spin out to 0%, so it disappears. Spin out to the bottom of the screen. Spin out to the left side of the screen. Spin out to the right side of the screen. Again, it's purely horizontal in this case. Spin to the top of the screen, moving out. Then we can move it lower left to lower right. Or lower right to lower left in the two preset areas where it starts and stops. We can do the same upper left to upper right and, as you might expect, upper right to upper left. So that's a summary. We can also use this for any of the four quadrants and we can use the 25% default or the 40% default. Here's a summary. You have 23 presets at 25% for each quadrant in the screen and 23 at 40%. You can move horizontally in either direction in the upper half or lower half and to apply the PIP you place it on top of the clip 